Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I have got quite a few. As always, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm also gonna tell you now, um, I missed, I got off of my filming schedule, so I will be filming two of these videos back to back. So it's gonna be weird to see me like in the same outfit, same makeup and everything two weeks in a row back to back, but that's just how it, that's just how it's gonna kind of shake out. So I hope it's not weird, but I do, I did just wanna let you know really quickly. But anyways, I'm gonna jump right in. Okay, so one of the first, and I've got a cat behind me, Miss Mama Cat back there, Lola. Okay, um, one of the first fragrances I wore last week is this one here. This is Giorgio Armani C. Le Parfum. Um, I love this, I pull it out every fall. As soon as it starts to cool down, this fragrance comes out. Um, sadly, this is a long discontinued fragrance. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is like a, it's like a light, light-ish amber. It still has a hint of that mustiness to it that amber can sometimes have or that a traditional kind of amber has. But this one's got a ton of black currant in it. So you really get this beautiful kind of berry, like bright berry, musty amber combination. It's very hard to explain. I know that sounds kind of weird. That might be like off-putting to some people, but it really does smell incredible. It smells so good on. Um, it was still a little warm out. I think it was still kind of in the 70s the day that I wore this. So. Um, it didn't last quite as long as it would have had I worn it on a cooler day. Um, so I will probably pull this one out again and wear it when it gets really properly cold, like at least staying down in the 50s, 60s. Um, and in weather like that, it'll last a lot longer, like eight, 10 hours at least. Um, I got about six hours out of it, which was perfectly fine. Um, it was great, I loved it. I absolutely adore this fragrance. If it's something that you ever run across, I highly recommend it, it's great. So anyways, that is Giorgio Armani C. Le Parfum. Okay, next, uh, beautiful La Rive sent me um, a package from Genre Parfums and I was so excited to see. She sent me a full bottle of, this is actually LA Aroma, which is their feminine line, um, or their line that is um, marketed towards women. Um, the box on this is so beautiful. I love like the, the colorful geometric pattern and then the orange front. I just think the box is so pretty. Um, but yeah, she sent me a full bottle of Genre Mini More, which is the dupe of Minnie Mouse. I absolutely love this fragrance. I think it is stunning. I'm so glad to have a dupe. This is not a fragrance that I would ever pick up the real thing because I think it is incredibly overpriced for what it is. It's just like a really beautiful gourmand, raspberry and whipped cream and vanilla type of fragrance. Um, nothing groundbreaking. It's not worth 400 and something dollars for a bottle of it. I know House of Siage has really good sales, but even still you're gonna pay over $200 for a bottle of it, and it's not a perfume that I think is worth $200. The bottle is really beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I don't typically buy bottles that expensive just for the bottle. Um, so I am perfectly happy with the dupe. It's beautiful. Charlotte has been wearing this almost every day. She loves this scent. Um, so yeah, and I love the bottle. I think the bottle is really beautiful. I absolutely love the cap. Yeah, I just love it. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. So thank you to my beautiful friend, Larive, for sending this one. Um, this is a beast. This, Charlotte will smell like this all day. I haven't, I've, I've tested it when, I, I tested the little sample when it came. Um, I haven't worn it since the full bottle came, but it lasts on Charlotte all day long and every, it's funny every time I get a whiff of it on her I'm always like oh my gosh Charlie you smell so good and she's like I know <laughs> yeah it just smells amazing so anyways that is genre mini more she also sent this is a big 10 mil decant of um, positivo which is Hufflepuff it is phenomenal I love this so much I sprayed this on immediately gave it a good full wear test went hard with it 
I love this. It's an absolute monster of a fragrance. I think I got a good eight, 10 hours out of this. It smells delicious. It smells just like the, the real thing. And I love it. I think that the um, dapper version is perfectly fine too. Either one you go with I think are gonna be great. I really love the genre version though. Um, and again, um, I'm happy to have the dupe. This is not a fragrance that I would ever purchase the real thing just because for what it is, it's not, this is not a $200 bottle of perfume to me at all. It's beautiful, I love it, it's delicious, it's scrumptious, um, but again, it's just a pretty, you know, run-of-the-mill gourmand. So anyways, that is uh, Genre Parfums Positivo. And then she also sent a sample of this one here called Imagine a Symphony. And I cannot for the life of me remember what she said this was a, um, or even if she even told me what this is a dupe for. I think she probably did. I think she did tell me, but I've forgotten. But it's some really beautiful niche perfume. This thing is delicious too. Not delicious in a gourmand way, but beautiful. This one is a little bit sweet, a little bit citrusy. It's kind of perfumey. Gosh, it's really, really gorgeous. I will find out what this is a dupe for and I'll have the notes on the screen for you and everything, but oh gosh, it's, it's really, really good. I've only tested this one on my hand so far. I haven't given this one a good full wear test, um, but on my hand, oh my gosh, it was amazing. I love it. So that one is called Imagine a Symphony. Genre is such a good dupe house. Um, gosh, one of the best out there. I really, really love their fragrances. Okay, speaking of a dupe house, next I pulled out my Palm Fire from Dua. Um, I love this. This is a combination of Killian Apple Brandy and Replica by the Fireplace. I love this. It's, it smells like by the Fireplace if you added apple to it. It's fall in a bottle. It's incredible. I love it so much. As soon as it starts getting a little bit chilly out, I pull out my, I start pulling out my Dua. Um, apple fragrances because I love, they're my, some of my favorite apple fragrances. Um, they're just done so well. And yeah, this one is beautiful. Um, again, it was a little bit warm the day that I wore this, so I didn't get the longevity out of it that I normally do. Normally I can get, gosh, 10, 12, 14 plus hours out of this fragrance. Um, I only got maybe, I don't know, I think I could only smell this for maybe about five or six hours the day that I wore it um, because it was a little bit on the warm side, but yeah, love it. It's an amazing scent and perfect for the fall. So that is Dua Palm Fire. Um, next, I have just been craving this fragrance. This is my Jovan Musk for Women. And oh my gosh, I've been thinking about this fragrance for the last couple of weeks, really wanting to wear it. And I love this. This was a day that I was just at home and I was just, you know, wanting to be like really comfortable all day. I layered it over the oil. The oil is where it's at with this fragrance. This oil, oh my gosh. Ugh, the oil has a real warmth to it. So does the, the, per, the spray perfume does as well, but the, the oil just has this really, really beautiful warmth to it. And when you, when you layer the two, you're gonna get, you. this will last all day. Um, it does start to wear closer to the skin after about four hours or so, um, but it's one of those fragrances that for hours and hours, even after it starts to wear closer to the skin, you're gonna smell it every time you move. You're gonna get a whiff of yourself, which means everybody else can smell you too. Um, such an amazing fragrance. This is such an underrated, really affordable gem. I love this. I think. Well, they make one for, they have Jovan Musk for men, which I think smells incredible too. Oh my gosh, but there's something so warm and clean and just beautiful and classic smelling about this fragrance and I love it, yeah. And if you can find the oil, I cannot recommend it enough, it's so good. So anyways, that is Jovan Musk. Okay, next, I know I told you guys that I wanted to try my Al Rahab French coffee uh, layered with my black opium. Um, this is Black Opium Extreme. I do have the original Black Opium too, but um, this one lasts, or this one performs just a little bit better. Ah, uh, I love 
black opium extreme it smells like black opium but just a little bit stronger it's really the <laughs> the difference between this and the original one is really negligible um, i do want to get the per perfume version of this though i've heard that the perfume version is just the best version of black opium ever i really really want it um, so yeah, I layered these and let me tell you, French coffee overpowered black opium. So after about 10 minutes, I couldn't even smell black opium anymore. All I smelled was the French coffee. So yeah, I would not use this as a layering fragrance um, unless whatever you're layering it with is really, really strong on its own because it's crazy how strong this actually is. It doesn't seem like it would be as like potent as it is because it doesn't seem like that in the bottle but it really is a very potent fragrance i mean it's just it's crazy i couldn't believe that it completely overpowered the black opium um yeah so i really didn't even get the experience of of um wearing black opium that day it was basically just wearing french coffee um so yeah this is i wouldn't recommend this um because black opium can't it doesn't it can't stand up to the French coffee. Um, but I'll play with this some more and see if I can find another layering combination where this doesn't overpower whatever I layer it with. So yeah, that is Alverhub French Coffee and Black Opium Extreme. Okay, next I, my beautiful friend Christine sent me a little, uh, a little set from Sol de Janeiro. It was the hair care set. So shampoo, conditioner, and a leave-in conditioner. Um, so I think it was the next day after she sent it, I took a shower and I was like, oh, I'm going to try this shampoo and see how it is. And the shampoo is lovely. It is so incredibly fragrant that I didn't feel right wearing a separate fragrance from it because my hair was so fragrant. It smelled exactly like the perfume. So I was like, that's cool. I love the perfume. So I'm going to put on my, um, boom, or I'm going to put on my boom, boom cream dupe that my beautiful friend Jacqueline sent me. And then I'm going to layer my perfume over it, my Sol de Janeiro, uh, perfume over it, which is what I did. So, uh, I love this. I love it so much. I like this better than the original boom, boom cream. Um, because it smells something about this. It's not an exact dupe as far as the smell goes, but the form, the, the cream itself, the, like the actual cream itself is exactly like the boom, boom cream. It, it feels exactly like it performs exactly like it. The scent is just not a hundred percent, but the scent of this is really, really beautiful. And there's something about the scent of this mixed with the boom, boom, uh, mixed with the actual real perfume that smells even better than the boom, boom cream. Let me tell you guys, I was a walking cloud of Sol de Janeiro that day. I mean, just a walking cloud. I smelled like this so incredibly intensely for so many hours um even when my husband had got got home from work that day i was do doing the dishes and he came up behind me and he smelled me he was like oh my gosh you smell so good today and i'm a cloud of it because my hair my perfume my body cream everything but anyways the perfume wore off oh at some point that afternoon now my hair still smelled like my hair still smelled like that shampoo until I washed it again. Not even kidding you. Um, my hair smelled like that for like three days because I only wash my hair like twice a week. Um, but anyways, this perfume wore off. And so I put on this one. This is a fragrance that Christine also sent with the Sol de Janeiro hair care stuff. She also sent a whole bunch of beautiful goodies for all of my fur babies. Um, she sent a really amazing cat toy for Pistol. He loves it. He's so sweet. He gets in it and he like puts his arm in it and he'll just lay there. And it, it's like this circle and he like will sit in the middle. It's that the middle of that circle is like his safe space now. He just loves that toy so much. It's got like a ball in it in a track. It looks like a little car race track and it's got like a little ball in it and they can reach their paws in the little like tunnel things and like bat it along. It's just the cutest thing ever. But anyway, she sent a whole bunch of stuff. She sent this perfume. This is Ascada Santorini Sunrise. I had never smelled this fragrance before and this is delicious. 
This smells like a, like you are on a serious tropical beach somewhere and you're sipping some kind of a fruity tropical drink, but more importantly, there are some kind of beautiful tropical flowers right next to you and the sun and the wind is blowing and all you can smell are these tropical perfumey flowers and you can kind of smell your fruity drink a little bit too. That's what this reminds me of. It's more floral than fruity, like much more floral than fruity, but it's really, really sweet and it's delicious. I love it. Um, these Escada fragrances can be a hit or a miss for me. This one is a hit. I love this and it was, um, I could still smell my, my Boom Boom dupe cream very strong. Like this is, this scent lasts forever. This layered over this is absolutely phenomenal. Such a good pairing. I loved it so much. I just smelled amazing this whole day. So anyways, yeah, that was a boom boom day. And then this beauty Escada Santorini Sunrise, just gorgeous. Um, yeah, I love this day. I smelled amazing. This didn't last a super long time. I think by the time I went to bed, um, I couldn't smell this anymore, but I think I got a good like three hours out of it probably. Um, yeah, it was great. So anyways, that is the Scotta Santorini Sunrise. And then I've got a couple of uh, samples that I went through. So I, I wore this one here. This is Gritty Chantilly. I, this one, this is not memorable at all. Um, this one is just, it's kind of a slightly sweet, like a sweet, um, kind of perfumey, very kind of nondescript smelling fragrance. Um, it doesn't smell like anything fantastic to me. I think it lasted all of maybe 30 minutes and then I couldn't even smell it anymore. So yeah, um, it was nice to, to try it out. It was, um, it's always fun to try these, to try fragrances out, but yeah, that's not anything that, um, I even really remember. And then Charlotte actually tested this one. This is Hildy Soliani Avatar. And you guys know she's Avatar obsessed. So when I told her I had a sample of a fragrance called Avatar, she was like, oh, I want to wear it. I want to wear it. This smells really, really beautiful. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit of this on my hand. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this smells delicious. All of Hildy Soliani fragrances are kind of like gourmand fragrances. I did a video on Hildy Soliani like years ago. Um, I got a ton of samples and yeah, I really like them. They just don't last very long. This reminds me of something. It smells just like, it smells just like something. I kind of get pink sugar vibes from this but this almost has like an ice cream kind of smell to it. So it's like if you can imagine pink sugar, but add like a vanilla ice cream in a waffle cone kind of scent to pink sugar. And then that's kind of what Avatar smells like. It's delicious. Sadly, I couldn't smell it on her after maybe like 10 minutes, but it's a gorgeous fragrance. I just, I wish that her fragrances lasted longer. So that is uh, Hildy Soliani Avatar. And that is gonna be it, you guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.